Of course, of course. You're welcome. Thank hello, you so hello. much for joining us. <laughs> I was about to translate it. Thank you. Welcome and also thank you so much for joining thank us, Gio so and much. Natasha. Yes. yes. So, wow. Coco e Chichi Jakarta. So yes. This is uh, uh, quite the first time I, I met uh, uh, the contestants or the winners. Same from here. Coco Chichi Jakarta. Uh, we're more familiar, to be honest, with Abang None, right? True, Abang true. None right. Jakarta. But I think yeah. it's quite similar, but um, with a different purpose, maybe? Mm. Maybe? Let's ask them. Okay. okay. No, no. But, but before we ask oh, sorry. them, no, before we ask them, maybe <laughs> we we need to see uh, the information in the sure. next story. Yeah. So, actually. Okay. Do we, the, do we have. Uh, Okay, we will we'll have some information yep. on, on the Coco Chichi's history. Yes. Of the arts and culture of the Chinese community, it has also became one of the tourist attractions in Jakarta. As a tourism ambassador, Coco Chichi Jakarta also promotes Chinese points of interest in the capital city. Coco Chichi Jakarta aims to show the inclusive of beauty, richness, and colors of Chinese culture, which is part of Indonesia's culture. So, in the studio, as uh, we introduced you guys before, we have Chichi Natasha and, and Coco, Coco Gio. So, first of all, thank you so much for coming to the uh, studio. And um, aside from Coco and Chichi Jakarta, mm -hmm. uh, as Chrisia mentioned, Jakarta also has Abang Noni. But what are the differences between two pageants? Okay, well, that's really, really interesting question because we've also heard that question from the others. Mm. Right. So what the, differ the difference is Abang Nune Jakarta and Koko Chichi Jakarta has the um, same important thing mm -hmm. that we are really really developing tourism in Jakarta. Mm. Right. But what makes us different is Koko Chichi Jakarta has another focus mm -hmm. that we are really really preserving Chinese culture in DKI Jakarta. Ah. Right. So could you please uh, explain further regarding your main duty as Koko and Chichi? Maybe Natasha yes. can answer now. Sure. So as Coco Chichi Jakarta, we have three main duties. The first one is, is the ambassador of Chinese culture, mm -hmm. the ambassador of tourism, and also social ambassadors. So as the Chinese ambassadors, Chinese culture ambassador, we have the duty to actually celebrate Chinese cultures, mm -hmm. Chinese celebrations such as the Chinese New Year's, mm -hmm. also the mid-autumn festivals, and many more festivals that are wow. celebrated in China. Wow. Okay. Before we go any further, okay. I, I, I just have this curiosity on my, on my mind. In order to join um, Coco Chichi mm -hmm. pageant, mm -hmm. is it pageant? Yeah, yeah. Can we say, pretty much. Pretty all much. right, pretty much. Before, yeah. uh, to be able to join that pageant, do you have to be like pure Chinese, or can you just be ch of Chinese descent? Um, it's very open for public. So yeah. if you are interested, really? if you are only just interested in the Chinese culture, you're so welcome to. Oh, yeah. really? Of really? Of so you Jakarta. could have joined actually. I could have joined. In your you young too. Days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're too old now. <laughs> yeah. That's good to know. Perhaps yeah. the audience. Um, yeah, who doesn't have yeah. uh, Chinese blood in yes. them, but are very interested in Chinese culture and interested in promoting them, you can join. You can sure. actually join. So, um, it's interesting that you, you mentioned about the three main duties. Yes. One of them is preserving the Chinese culture. culture. Yeah. Yeah. So, what are the activities or what are actually in the plan to preserve? How do you preserve the Chinese culture in Indonesia or in Jakarta in general? Of course, um, like today, mm -hmm. we are celebrating Chinese New Year. Mm -hmm. We are Koko Chichi Jakarta making a social media content in our oh, Instagram. Okay. At Kochi Jakarta. Kochi. Yeah, maybe. Koko Chichi. You yes. can, guys, to can... Follow. Look. Yes, you can follow, you can like our social media because there are so many, many um, Chinese culture in there. And right. of course, tourism or the... Social, social. Mm. right? And nowadays mm. people are always on their phone, so I think the best way to reach them is through social, social media. media. Yes, that's right. Now, um, 
you are also the representative of Jakarta's tourism, right? But if we speak about Abang None, perhaps they would promote uh, places like, I don't know, Monas yeah, and things like that, that. Uh, Jakarta's landmark. Yes. But you are specialized in Chinese culture. Yes. What are the places that you usually promote? Okay, so there are actually many places in Jakarta that gave us the mood of the Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. But for me personally, I'd like to recommend you to go to Glodok Panjoran. Yes. Because there you could experience so much things. So one of them is you can experience the tea drinking culture. Oh. From the brewing of the tea, the smelling the scent of the tea, and also <gasps> by drinking the tea so itself. Do you, do you have like particular place to do that? Yes, it's in the Panjoran Tea House. Oh, I, yeah. would I would love, love that. to. <laughs> yes, and, it's, and it's a very old building. It's used to be an apothecary, like okay. the yeah. medical the pharmacies. pharmacies mm -hmm. Yeah, and the old place in the old times. So now it I is see. a cafe. You could hang out there and you can take good photos there oh. too. Yeah, let's go there, huh? I want. <laughs> I want. But okay, um, being uh, specialized in the Chinese culture in uh, in Jakarta, to be specific. Um, you might have some uh, challenges in yes. promoting the culture and uh, tourism in Jakarta, in particular with the Chinese culture. What are those? Okay, so um, promoting the tourism and culture itself is actually a two different thing because for me, the tourism itself, people will search for new spots or new tourism places. Mm. Unlike the culture, mm. young generations nowadays, they don't actually, they assume that cultures are not that significant and important yet. Okay. So, without, so without that awareness actually, it's yeah. a little bit challenging for us. But now we as Koko Chichi Jakarta are striving hard to raise mm. the awareness to give them the importance of preserving the Chinese culture. I see. Wow, well, yeah. speaking about uh, raising the awareness, mm -hmm. I mean, there are lots of ways to do that, right? Yes, um, Gio previously have mentioned about um, the social media, mm. but what about the events that um, Chichi Coco have helped uh, before? Could you please tell us about it? Yes, of course. It made my pleasure. And it's really much. It's mm -hmm. really, really, really much. Um, la like last December on uh, 2022, mm -hmm. we had on day, on this day, on this day, so we are making on this demo cooking. We give them, oh. we give them the on day to yeah. free to people at the Pancoran. Yeah. And of course, we have so many even again yeah. like um, Tung Chu Chie, Tung Chu Chie, which is the winter solstice. Yeah, like Tuan U Chie, we eat bacang. You, you guys know bacang. Yes. Yes. yes, I love it. I love yeah. bacang. <laughs> oh my god, you uh, can actually conquer my heart only with bacang. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you guys experience some difficulties during the pandemic? I mean, now uh, it's starting to get back to normal, mm. right? But mm. uh, speaking of two years ago, yeah. 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 Uh, there must have been some impact to the whole, you know, plan yeah. of promoting and preserving the culture. Yeah. Uh, how did you guys deal with the situation? Actually, back then? with the social media that we yeah. mentioned before, mm. also it's getting a lot easier mm. because we could actually make an online program right. like through Zooms. We could like gather um, our seniors, Koko mm -hmm. Chichi Jakarta seniors, to gather around to actually tell our stories about the Chinese celebrations in our families. So it's actually a lot easier. But now that we could have actually held the event offline, mm -hmm. it's very, it's very, it's a very nice, nice. thing. Yeah. So we could experience also with all the people and the audiences, and we could share the warmth also to everyone. Right. Wow, there are actually lots of things that we uh, that we can dig deeper into yeah. this uh, Coco Chichi pageant from uh, the Coco Jakarta and Chichi Jakarta. So that being said, we'll be back after the break. Still with them, stay with us. <laughs> 